Well, hello, everybody. That was annoying. Ew. That was a little <laughs> Hey guys, so we finally made it. Um, Taylor's in there checking it out now, but it was a pretty good drive. It did start raining pretty hard and it may start raining. As you can see, it's kind of cloudy today and it's about 61 in terms of weather. So it's always hard when you have to book stuff in advance. You never know what the weather's gonna be like, but I think tomorrow's gonna be like sunny and 80. So I'm looking forward to that. Um. It's nice to spread out cabins. It was only one that I saw that was near like another cabin. Um, but it's some nice privacy out here. The grounds, they're really discreet. So it's not like at the front, it's not like getaway house, you know? Like you have to know exactly what road you're going down. And they text all that information to you about an hour before it's time to come out. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys the inside.
Mom's getting dinner ready for us. <laughs> what are we having? We're having some Hello Fresh. We're doing the garlic butter shrimp scampi. Basically come in these little boxes. This isn't sponsored by HelloFresh, but we thought it was gonna be the easiest just to bring some of these along for the ride. They give you like all the ingredients that you need pre-packaged in those little bags. So it just makes things super, super easy. We're also gonna have this salad, but without the beef in it. But yes, I'm very excited. something out there rustling and bustling in the in the the forestry <laughs> i can't that was a little too scary for my like and we had got up and ran inside it's dark out there y'all real dark you can't see you can't nothing take no chances. i can't that was scary look i love it. i still got my marshmallow half baked i am that's fake my bag out there though. Mm. Oh, we can wrap it up. Good morning guys. It is day two at the getaway house. Um I just woke up and straightened up a little bit and now me and Taylor are about to do some yoga. Um, after our yoga, we are gonna get ready to go on a hike to, I forgot the name of the mountain. I think it's called like Hilltop Mountain or something, but supposedly it has some really great views. So I'm gonna take you all along for the ride. And uh, yeah, last night was pretty scary. It got very, very dark outside. Um, it was uncomfortably dark like we were every little wrestling or rattling we were here in the woods we'd be running back in the building because uh, it was terrifying i had to turn my car lights on or something because it was pitch black outside like you open the door it's nothing <laughs> it was very scary but now it's daytime we know to start our campfire a little earlier before the sun goes out um and all of that so i'm very excited for our hike and um yeah bring y'all along This is the whole park, but we are here. All the way down here is where we came in at. That was a terrible, <laughs> terrible viewing, but let me see how big this place is. I left my sneakers like an idiot, so now I have to hike in Crocs.
finally made it back to the car. Oh my gosh. Now, after coming down, I definitely have to knock that up to like a seven, 7.2 maybe. You see my eyes, they are so bothered by um, the pollen. I did not take any allergy medicine. Um, and I was chucking up all different types of stuff coming down the mountain. Like, geez, don't forget your allergy medicine. Don't you do it. But yeah, we're about to head back to the cabin now. And uh, we'll check in there. Definitely ready to eat. We're about to make some burgers. I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> exhausting. For dinner tonight, white cheddar Wonder Burgers and one pot Mexicali bean soup. guys as you can see i'm still sniffling because i never got any allergy medicine big mistake huge mistake big 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 mistake <laughs> but we are packing everything up and getting ready to go taylor is starting to make some omelets for us and uh, this trip has been like so eye-opening a nice breath of fresh air just connecting us with nature and just enjoying our time um kind of you know secluded away but it's been lots of fun and i highly highly recommend um trying it out definitely come with some people that you love to be around you know you can have a great time it's super intimate quiet and just you know slow paced it's really nice um i do want to give you all some tips on how to optimize your stay here or what to expect because there were just a couple things um that threw us off a little bit that we weren't expecting so i had to set up my gimbal um because i made a list and i don't want to forget anything um but first the water pressure out here is amazing um you'll not you're not gonna have any issues with that they do have a small hot water tank so you will be able to have hot water um, I do recommend using the water in short bursts or don't leave it running as you're not using it just to keep the hot water um, for as long as possible. If you're super short, the water kind of just blasts. Like, it's not a big shower. You saw the, the room tour, but the water kind of just blasts straight down on you. So if you're tall, it, it'll probably be aiming right in your chest or right at your face. So I recommend, you know, getting your body wet, turn the water off, wash yourself, and then turn the water back on when you're ready to rinse yourself because it'll just keep blasting at you. If you're short, you're probably good enough to tailor. She says she just kind of stood under the water, um, but it will shoot right at your face if you're tall. Point number two, I definitely recommend bringing your own firewood. I brought um, some firewood that was easy burn. It was like in a bag and you just kind of set the bag on fire and then you're done with. Their firewood is not easy to light up. And it even with the firewood we brought and we mixed it together, it still didn't catch easily. We had to like finagle it to try and set the other ones on fire. They do have fire starter and stuff, but you have to pay for it. So if you're gonna pay, just pay for something that's gonna be easy to light up um, when it's time. Next point, it gets so dark at night. It's pitch black outside. There's nothing out here um, but the stars. 
so if you're scared of the dark like me <laughs> definitely get very afraid and then you know the nature sounds you'll hear like animals rustling you don't know if it's like a person or something trying to walk up on you it gets very scary so if you're kind of antsy like that i would say don't limit your experience by just staying in the house definitely bring a flashlight they have like a little um lamp that comes in but it's not that bright um so bring a flashlight or a lamp or something that can help illuminate your area uh, I also recommend leaving the windows open in the house and turning the lights on in the house just to give you a little bit of extra light outside if you have the shade down obviously it's gonna be super dark so just put the shade down like when you're ready to um, go to sleep or if you're changing or something another tip is bring bug spray for sure it's lots of bugs out here it's crazy critters like it's all types of stuff that you never even seen never heard of like flying at you getting in the house like i've i've, I've tried to be like nice and let them go free because this is their habitat but some we had to lice them down with the lysol some like it was just lots of bugs i don't like bugs i know i'm in the forest but i don't like bugs so if you're like me you antsy about that definitely recommend maybe a citronella candle right outside your door because they're they're just like racing to come in um and that's the issue for me and if you go on a hike obviously you want to um do bug spray possibly wear pants instead of shorts if you're hiking and um you know always bring your sunscreen next point bring an extension cord there were only two working outlets um that were inside of the cabin so definitely recommend an extension cord if you have multiple electronics that you're bringing some people like the unplugged experience you want to use your phone as little as possible so you probably won't need it but for us i know i had lots of recording equipment um gimbals you know cam cameras all of that stuff so if you are vlogging or anything definitely bring an extension cord so you have some extra plugs on hand and lastly um s'mores bring your own stuff for s'mores their s'mores kit is vegan so while it's okay it just doesn't hit the same um it does does it just doesn't get that like big ooey gooey like marshmallow squeeze so definitely and it's five dollars for the kit so with that five dollars you can go and get you some regular marshmallows um if you're not vegan but if you are vegan use theirs it was it was a pretty good alternative and also they sell like tea and coffee and stuff bring your own bring your own overall i guess our trip definitely a nine out of ten the only issue that we had was our refrigerator start working like halfway through so it was like leaking a lot of water from the little ice machine that's inside of there um you can always text them and um, ask them to resolve any problems for you we just chose not to because we were checking out in the morning so we didn't want to be bothered with plus they ask you to make any requests for their help before eight o'clock um and it's always quiet hours out here so they don't want you playing loud music or um you know just being overall disruptive if you have pets they want you to you know make sure they're not barking a lot if you have kids they want you to make sure they're not making too much noise um we only heard our neighbors like the first night they were kind of like a kiki a kakan out there <laughs> but it wasn't like disruptive like every once in a while you hear somebody laugh and honestly it was kind of um it was kind of comforting to hear somebody laughing or having a good time because you know it's better than hearing terrifying screams coming from the darkness or something <laughs> anything to make you feel more comfortable because it gets dark oh my gosh it's pitch black i'm not a country girl okay so i don't know nothing about that life um but yeah highly recommend definitely come out and if you are planning on visiting soon comment down below and tell me um which cat uh, which cabin you're interested in visiting um and if you want any more like trip ideas we have like stuff planned um just ask me and i can give you some um tips or things to do like nearby there are a lot of wineries um national parks um Luray caverns just lots of stuff so just ask me and i'm happy to help so my friend who I came out here with, you know, Taylor, um, she has a YouTube channel as well. Her name is Taylor's Muse. <laughs> here she Hi. is. Hey, guys. <laughs> um, but if you do plan on coming to a getaway house, uh, definitely recommend going to her channel, watch her video, and book through 
<laughs> Book through the link that is going to be in her bio so you can get some money off your trip. It'll also give her some money on the back end too if she wants to visit again. So it's a win-win situation for everybody. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you find it informative, um, just leave a like. And if you want to stick around to see more of my travel adventures, I highly recommend to subscribe. And I would love to see you back again. All right, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.